okay this is that settled the most outstanding i don't let pumping a physical my own husband and as usual with me okay as usual my wife will be here but today i don't have my wife seated here today we have this is the part b of uh, a video we just released some couple of days back which is talking about so today i have beside me angela angela is a 21 year old young beautiful african youth but something happened along the way that I wanted to distract her achievement in life but thank god she's here in the studio she came over to Cetros foundation to ask for the foundation's help and i can tell you that we are going to sit here in the next six to nine months or one year max and tell a better story of us because we don't give up on our youth we always believe that whatever the challenges, whatever the mistake they might have made in time past, they can bounce back. There is no time as too late. The only people that are too late to correct their error or mistake, they are what? Those that have died. So far, there is breath. And if you are there, you are going through a turbulent time, please don't destroy yourself. Don't kill yourself. Just know that the best is around the corner. And if you are within the continent of Africa as a youth, you, have, you are going through some challenges and you need the support of the Cetros family, the support of Cetros Foundation. You can reach out to us on some of the phone numbers showing below. We'll be sure to assist in whatever way as possible. But please note, we only assist in training you in numerous crafts that can help you to make money because one of the things we want to discourage african youth from is the beggar my neighbor star we don't entertain youths begging anybody for money we want these youth to know how to make money themselves and that's why we are here to support them they will make the money themselves and they'll be able to start up a very good family so without wasting too much time can we meet with you please Introduce yourself. My name is Angela Nicolas. I'm from Enugu State and I'm 21. Okay. So, what, what brought you to the foundation? What do you want Cetros Foundation to do for you? To help me make my dream come true. Okay. A dream, like Joseph's dream. What kind of dream? What do you want this foundation to do for me? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm into making it. I don't to make it, but I want the foundation to help me. To learn more and into makeup. So, okay, you want Cetros Foundation to assist you to advance your learning in hair making. Okay, let me take it over from there. Uh, she came to the foundation today and uh, she said she's into uh, hair making and the like. So, we subjected her to test, the usual test that we have always been subjecting people to, uh, which I'm aware. You remember the period I traveled to one of the villages in uh, far, far, far Ogun State, Abel Kuta to be precise, and uh, we subjected a lady in that village to a test. She spent less than just about 10 minutes to make a complete air, and every one of you know how brilliant that air was, okay? So we subjected her to the same test. We discovered some shortfalls. Number one, two, three, areas that she need to improve on she tried very well she made the air but there are some areas that she need to improve on uh, she need to improve on speed she need to improve on finishing it well so that it looks glossy and the likes then she need to finish up know how to finish up on the edges of the air and the likes we made her understand some of these so in the process we discovered that we can actually train her because she knows foundation of air making so she is interested in learning air and makeup. So, fortunately, one of our trainers was in the house to do the makeup of someone else. And at the end of the day, we decided that she needs to make this video to request for the foundation support. In the process, we also discovered that Angela is pregnant and uh, she's not married. She's just a youth, a 21 years old lady. Uh, with pregnancy. Let's probe further. Uh, what level of education do you have? I've not been in secondary school, just the family. Wow. She just, it was just elementary school that she attended. So, 
Why? Why elementary school? Because then there is no money. Okay. Just like, and give me house house problems. Tell my mom to dash. Just leave school for now and just for to stay and all that. Okay, let me just be candid with you guys. Angela that you are seeing here, she's going through a lot. She couldn't uh, finish, uh, she couldn't proceed more than the elementary uh, level of education. And as such, that was because there was no money. Uh, the parents were going through turbulent time. They were... They were also having accommodation problem. Presently, they stay in Papo House, but I know that the decision they are making today, if they are serious with it, will change everything. In the last video, I didn't tell you this. The other sister of ours was Elizabeth that was pregnant and she has a baby girl. Today, this is the younger sister. She's also pregnant. They are staying in an uncompleted building. They just add Paco structure on it. But still, you see these ladies, these ladies, they still assist their mom in petty trade and the likes. And that's why we are saying that majority of these youth is not that, because some person might be there and I'm like, ah, they, they, they are just getting pregnant here and there. No. Some of these, our African youth, they are going through family challenges. They are going through serious challenges. Either the parents are not well to do to take care of them. So the little people, the little love, show of love they get from some of these trick stars, some of these boys out there, sweeps them overboard. And before you know it, they get pregnant. And that is what I call the cycle of poverty. It keeps reflowing over and over. Because... If we don't come up to educate these youths and to help these youths assist them to learn a skill or so, which I call the necessary Africa-centric system of education, the one that we train them, not just on how to memorize, but on how to be a doer, which is what we are going to be doing now. You find out that a lot of these youths, they will continue to recycle the poverty that is showing up in their lineage. And that is where we are here today to provide solution to such challenges. I'm so happy having both of them here. They were, one good thing is that they were not uh, hiding their feelings. They express themselves that they have made mistake, isn't it? Have you made mistake? Do you agree that you have made mistake? Yeah. Would you like to make this kind of mistake over and again? Yeah. Okay. So, because even in pregnancy, I know that she needs to take care of herself. She needs to eat well so that the baby can grow well. But the little that we can offer now is on this training. So that she will learn the art of making money by working. So that by the time she has this baby, at least by the time she's learning this uh, makeup artistry, before the birth of the baby, she would have perfected her skills in that. She can get a job. We can help her get a job anywhere that will be putting money in her hand so that she can be able to take care of her baby. What about the guy that uh, impregnated you? Did he accept the baby? Yeah. Okay. She is lucky that this guy accepted that she that is the owner of the baby. But he is not also doing a big job. He's just doing many jobs and the likes. Learning point for our youth. Always look ahead. Don't look at the present moment of um, you are with a guy. Uh, maybe your parents are passing through challenges. You decide to, because the guy is giving you small, small peanuts that cannot really, really, really sustain you. Don't be annoyed with what I'm saying, but I need to pass the message. That cannot really, really sustain you. It's just for the moment. And if in the process you decide to lose God, they get you impregnated. You will be the one to carry the baby. Who is carrying the baby now? When the baby is turning here and there, who is feeling it? The guy is out there. And who knows? If the guy decides to run some packages outside, you see the stuff now. So, especially the female child, please be very, very careful. Whatever the challenges you are going through, it will be seen of the past. But I still say, 
kudos to the young guy because he still accepted his responsibility. Does he give you money for upkeep? Yeah. How much? Like how much? Sometimes 500, sometimes 1,000. Okay. Sometimes 500, sometimes 1,000. Do you know the meaning of that? Sometimes $1, sometimes $2. How often does he do that? Like anytime he has like break, like chance to come over. Mm. Like how many days? How many days? Is it every day that it gives you one one dollar? Like like we get to do that maybe that one gave me maybe like two and following day or the air like maybe today now give me one thousand then to be maybe on on Thursday. Okay. So in a week, maybe it gives you two thousand in a week. It's more than. Has ever given you up to 5,000 Naira in a week? Like one day. In a week? No. So, you see what we're talking about? So that's just once in a while. It's not, it's not something that is frequent. So, the reason why I'm asking this is for you to know. Because if you're a youth there, guard your body jealously so that you are not put in family ways that can expose you to unnecessary stress and struggle. I'm not condemning her, but from the stories, we all have stories. We all have mistakes of the past. From, it's better to learn from other people's mistake than for you to be what? To be the mistake. But thank God that they, uh, she has realized what has happened to her. And she's not giving up. She's calling out on the foundation to help to support her. And we will also monitor her to see her progress. If she's serious with the help, the little help in training that we are going to offer her, then she can expect more help from this foundation and from this channel. So with that being said, I would like us to look at something here. Okay, as uh, this is the conclusion of this story, I just want you to know that the two stories that we have been bringing to you, the one of in the last video and the one we're just showing you now happened to two beautiful ladies from the same family why am i bringing this out look at them very well we are going to give them six months to one year six months to one year they are going to come back on this channel and they are going to tell a better story What you got yourself into? What you got yourself into? Blow